Hey everyone this is Kamran and in this lesson we're going to talk about the dependency injection. Dependency injection is all about how you inject your dependencies in your code base. Before we talk more about it let's see what is a dependency. Everything that your code depends upon is a dependency of your code base. For the sake of example let's say that you're building a notes application. This notes application might have several components. One of these components is going to be an editor. Now this editor may depend upon several components. One of these components can be a spell checker that lets you check if you're putting in the correct spellings. There might be a database component that lets you save the notes in the database and read the notes from the database and there might be a network component that lets you read the data from the remote URLs such as files and the images. Translating this example into the code base we will add a class called editor which might have several functions. One of these functions is going to be the save function. Let's say that before saving we are going to validate if we have the correct spellings and then we might have some logic and then we will save it in the database. If you look closely at this method you will notice that we are creating two new objects within this save function which are the spell checker and the database. Although our class looks fine and our save is working properly there are a bunch of problems with this way of creating objects within a method in this context. First of all testing this code base is difficult because we are creating the spell checker and database within the save method so we don't have the control over the objects so we can't mock the spell checker or the database if we have to. Secondly the code base is messy for now it might be fine but what if the spell checker or the database contains more than two or three lines for creation of the object third thing is it is violating the single responsibility principle our save method is doing much more than just saving so it is difficult to maintain and lastly if we need the spell checker and database in multiple places we might have the logic scattered across the application so for example if we need the database connection in the sidebar where we show the list of nodes we'll have to put the same logic for database connection creation in there as well to fix these issues we will use the dependency injection so to use the dependency injection i will change my class to look like this now so instead of creating the objects inside the save method we are passing them in the constructor and setting them on the class variables and then in the save method we are just using the class variables instead of the objects created inside the save you can choose to have setters as well instead of the constructors so instead of the constructor we can have set database and set spell checker methods which you can use to set the variables for the database and the spell checker and then we use them in the save using the this.sc and this.db while this is a significant improvement over the last implementation that we had we can improve it further by choosing to depend upon the abstraction rather than the implementation so now we are using the spell checker interface and the database interface instead of the concrete implementation for database. So later on if for example you were using database of MySQL before and you wanted to use MongoDB you just have to implement the database interface and then you can pass the object inside the class and then use it and you don't have to touch the class again. And that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments leave them below and I will see you in the next lesson.